So you might be in this really weird situation where your iPhone is for some reason stuck on a white screen. Now, this can happen for a couple of different reasons. The very first thing I do is just make sure, just try to understand why this even happened in the first place. Did you randomly do something really weird with your iPhone? Did you randomly do something? If that's not the case, the first thing I'd recommend doing is holding down the volume up button and the power button at the same exact time on your particular iPhone until your iPhone completely shuts down. Now, sometimes all you're going to have to do is hold that down. If that doesn't work, you can hold down the volume down button and the power button at the same time too. And sometimes you may just randomly get into this panel. If that doesn't work or if that doesn't seem to be the reason why that's you know happening, another thing you can try doing is clicking the volume up button, the volume down button, and then holding down the side button at the very side right here until your iPhone completely, sh completely shuts down. What you want to try doing is completely restarting your particular iPhone. And for a lot of people, that might end up being the way to fix this problem. Now, if that doesn't end up working, at least your iPhone will go and reboot. Now, if for some reason that doesn't end up working and your iPhone is back into its main display, the best thing you can do in that case if it is still actually stuck on that white display is to go ahead and put it into reboot mode. So put it into the standard like factory reset mode and then go ahead and plug it into your computer and then try actually updating it that way. Because sometimes it may have meant that your iPhone was just randomly stuck in a weird update and maybe there was an issue with it there. And sometimes that could very well be the way to fix the problem is literally just by going through that way and try to fix it there, which again, for a lot of people might end up fixing it for you. Now, if you do that and that's still not working, another thing you may want to try doing is contacting Apple and having them kind of take a look at your iPhone because the best thing you can do is just reboot your iPhone and that's probably the main way to fix it for you. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.